Hey guys, Rich here with Revitron. Well, I wanted to make this tutorial video for you guys because obviously it's very important that you guys are able to know how to send your videos to Revitron. All right, so now what you're gonna do, this is totally free. Um, oh, before I get all of that, I do wanna let you guys know that there's gonna be a detailed description of all of the step-by-step -step of this video. It's gonna be in the description of the video, so if you can check that out, or if this video seems confusing or anything like that, you can check that out at any time. Anyway. The first thing you're going to do, you're going to go to dropbox.com, create a free account. Um, you get two gigabytes of space and everything. I'll explain that later, but it's a free account. You don't have to worry about that. It's totally free, and you'll be able to email the links and everything from your video to uh, the team at Revitron. We'll be able to get that thing going through the approval process. Okay, so once you go through and you create your account, you're going to see three different folders here and this getting started PDF. What you're going to do, go ahead and click on the public folder, right? Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to click upload and we're going to click choose files and then you have to find wherever on your computer you have your reviews or your stop motion or your updates and news or whatever video you're trying to upload to Revitron or send to Revitron um, you're gonna have to find that on your computer I happen to have mine saved on the desktop and I've called it example video double click that go ahead and click start upload and then you're gonna see that it's already uploading so you just have to wait for it to upload obviously if you upload a, a gigabyte or larger file it's gonna take longer to go through the upload process here at Dropbox um, mine's a very short video I just wanted to show you guys going through the steps literally so you guys know what you're doing as best as possible without me confusing you um, but basically yeah you just sit here and you wait for it to upload um, this would be a good time to talk about the two gigabytes of space that you have on Dropbox when you sign up for a free Dropbox account you have the opportunity to upgrade your account to have more gigabytes, more space, more memory, basically what they're saying um, on your account. But you do get the two gigabytes for free. The importance of that is you can only upload so many videos to Dropbox because videos generally take up a lot of memory. So they're going to really eat into your gigabytes. But what you can do to be able to know how much space you have left is down here at the left hand side. Right now, my account has 0.8% as of right now. That's the Revitron account. Um, so that's how much is available or that's how much is used so obviously for you guys you know you'll have your two percent your two gigs and everything but just so you know you are going to have to at some point go into the public folder and delete some of the files you've uploaded there that way you have room to upload new things to be able to go through the approval process and hopefully get up to uh, upload it up on a revitron uh, so this is pretty much done uploading um other than that, I mean, that's pretty much the gist of it. This is a very simple process. Once you get through it a couple of times, you'll have it down pat. I have no doubt whatsoever. All right. Come on. Finish uploading. Come on. Come on. Awkward moment. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now you can see that I have the example video now within my uh, public folder. And what you're going to do is you're going to right-click on it. Obviously, these are all instructions for how to use this on a Mac. I don't, or a PC. I don't know how to do it on a Mac. Just letting you guys know. All right, so you're gonna right-click on the video file. Then you're gonna see all these different options here. But the important one we want is copy public link. You're gonna click that, and this little window pops up with a link. You're gonna go ahead and copy that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to whatever email account you have, and you're gonna email that link to Revitron Video at hotmail.com. That's very important that you email it there. Because uh, that's going to be the, the email address that Revitron, you know, the team and everybody uses to view the videos to go through the approval process. So you're going to email this link right here that just popped up. You just copy it. You're going to email that, paste it in there. Um, for the title of the, the email, make sure you put whatever the name of the video is. So like if it's a review, put, you know, this is this such and such review. That way we know what it's about. Um, and then in the actual email itself, make sure you write the title of the video a description if you have one, any tags that you have available, and the link to your YouTube channel. That is absolutely very important because we can't give you credit if you don't give us the link to your YouTube channel because some people don't use intros or anything and they don't have any other information about who they are so there's no way for us to link back to your YouTube channel. Why do you want us to link back to your YouTube channel? Because then hopefully people watch your videos on Revitron they're like, you know what, this guy or girl is really good, I wanna to subscribe to them. So hopefully this helps to give you some subscribers too. So make sure you got those five things, the title, the description, tags, the link to your YouTube video, and the email link of the actual video file itself, which is right here in this pop-up. All right, guys, hopefully this helps you. If you have any comments or questions, please post that down below and we'll, we'll do our best to be able to get back to you and hopefully be able to help anybody who has questions. Also check out the description. It has a detailed list of the step-by-step the de uh, -step process we just did so you can email your video files. Anyway, guys, hopefully this helps. Hopefully I didn't confuse anybody and uh, we look forward to checking out your guys' videos. All right, see you guys.